Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Brown. I'm an attorney in the Elder Law Department at Mandelbaum Barrett. And today I just wanted to jump on and talk about a really important topic um, relating to older adults, which is the concept of aging in place. So many older adults have established roots in a community and as they age, they wanna remain independent in familiar surroundings rather than moving to an assisted living facility or to a nursing home. So this is the concept of aging in place. And the vast majority of Americans and New Jerseyans want to age in place if possible. I think when you look at aging in place, there's three really important components to consider. Social and emotional health and financial wellness. And I'm gonna talk about each of those a little bit. So for health and physical well-being, um, a lot of older adults who wanna remain independent have a chronic illness that either prevents them physically or cognitively from really functioning in their home. But the good news is that there are actually companies that can come into a home, assess it, and make recommendations for modifications to be made, like make, putting in ramps or um, putting in grab bars into a bathroom so that someone who might have mobility problems can continue to live in their house independently. Um, proper nutrition is also really important. And for some older adults are on a fixed income or they are no longer driving and it might be hard for them to get food. So the good news is that we live in a time where grocery delivery is very accessible. Uh, there are lots of meal delivery services and there are also organizations like Meals on Wheels that will deliver food. And that also affords an opportunity for some social connections in addition to making sure someone has healthy food at home. Um, another really important component is preventative care, especially for someone who's showing signs of maybe a mental illness or a cognitive decline, it's important to catch those things early so that they can see the appropriate professionals for preventative care. So you may also be surprised to learn that substance abuse can be common amongst older adults, particularly if they're dealing with grief or they've left a career and they're feeling you know, like they're looking for their purpose. So it's important to watch for the signs of possible substance abuse with an older adult to assist them with, with dealing with that. Social connection is also really important. People over 65 are more likely than any other age group to live alone. So it's really important for them to have a community. Social connection is really good for both our mental and our physical health. So it's important that if you have an older adult in your life or you are an older adult to join clubs. A lot of towns have senior groups that have lots of activities and lunches and can keep you, you know, keep your social calendar busy. Um, having hobbies, having a pet if you're able, and also importantly, using technology. If you're immunocompromised or you have a mobility issue that prevents you from leaving home a lot, you were so lucky to live in a time with the internet, with social media, you know, learn how to use it and that will help you stay connected to others. Um, also, we have great technology devices now that help us stay connected and safe and healthy, like smartphones, medical alert devices, ring and blink cameras, which can help us, you know, keep tabs on family members if they're having some problems at home but want to stay independent. Um, there are even smart plugs that will turn off an electronic device so that, you know, it doesn't create a fire or another kind of an issue. Um, another component is financial. Um, and, and that involves a couple of things. So first of all, obviously, a lot of older adults are living on a fixed income. So if they want to continue living independently, it's good to evaluate, you know, is a smaller home more appropriate now? Um, is a one level home appropriate that might cost less and be easier to navigate than, you know, a two story colonial that they've lived in for many years. I also think um, we have a lot of technology that helps seniors to manage their finances. There are budgeting programs, financial management programs um, that are really, really helpful. The most important thing I think is to realize that there are a lot of scams that are targeting older adults. So if they are trying to use programs or advice to manage their finances, just make sure it's from a legitimate source. So your town may have an aging in place program in place and a lot of towns in New Jersey do and they arrange for things like technology training, transportation services, they go to places like the grocery store and the mall or community centers. And I think COVID really heightened the need for these services and helped to develop them. I know in my town, um, they really helped people get vaccinated and also to deliver meals to people who were alone. So as elder law attorneys, we can help discuss this process of aging in place with our clients. And we can also facilitate planning so that if a time comes when you can't make decisions for yourself any longer, your wishes can be followed to the extent possible to help keep you at home for as long as possible. And um, we can also connect you with resources in the community to help you keep your home safe as long as possible and to get the appropriate care at home. So thanks so much for listening and we look forward to hearing from you.